Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 56 So Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, let's have ourselves another greed run, and I'm going to play as Samson this time. Okay, before I continue on, I'm actually, well, I'm just going to go over the seed first. A, V, X, Q, D, T, T, W. That's the new character in Diddy Kong Racing. Alright, so, I did have another episode of greed mode before this. I did. But for some reason, Bandicam recorded something else, and as a result, I missed out all of the footage of that Greed Mode run that I was playing as a Zazel, by the way, which got us to 675 cents in our Greed Machine. Now, when you get to 676 cents, you unlock the store key. So, unfortunately, that achievement will not show up on this Let's Play. My apologies right there. Oh, Pisces is not bad. The good news is I did not pick up any new items to add to our collection, and I still did not get the Blinding Baby achievement. Normally, I would say that is bad news, but if you're not going to be able to see it, well, it kind of takes away from the joy. That's how a lot of you people felt about me getting Real Platinum God in the Rebirth Let's Play, so I can kind of sympathize given that it was a lot of bullshit to go through that process in the first place. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. The point is, you didn't miss much. You missed a little. It was a very tough Ultra Greed fight because I picked up Polyphemus, which made my damage godly. But man, it took 100 million years to charge up my tears that already suffered a tears down pill, knowing my luck. And I was complaining that I was having a low tier stat for some strange reason, because, you know, I was playing as Azazel. And then you get a tears down pill, like, a couple floors later, because, you know, fuck my life. Anyways, let's move on here. That's in the past. It's done. We just gotta get through all this, otherwise this run will be stuck in the past. Because we'd have to be starting a new one right afterwards. The bad thing about getting blank card really early on that greed mode run was that fact that there was not a single tarot card for sale in our shop, no matter how many times I used a reroll machine. And the one card that we did have was the Magician. Well, go me, right? Yeah, I'll take Champion Belt. Oh. Okay. Do we have a chance to get 13 cents within two enemy waves? I don't think so. But to be fair, some items tend to show up again. So we might still have a chance yet. To get blank card and hopefully the sun. Or two of diamonds. That would be fine as well. One of the two. I'd be content with that. If I can get both, even better. By knowing me, I'd be in the position to probably see myself getting neither of them. Really don't like this Japoni over here. Thank you for dying! That is much appreciated. Can you imagine, like, saying that in high school? Like, you really hated someone because they wore the same outfit as you that one time? And you were like, oh my god, thank god you're dead! You know, downing a bunch of your mom's prescription pills. Thank God for that. I'm supposed to be getting Tommy late tonight, okay? No, uh, don't quote me on that one because I'm straight, by the way, but... You know what I mean. Did he just suck those shots back? That was pretty random. Dude, just die. Taking way too many hits in that fight, unfortunately, but... Well, there's a good thing about Samson, is that he can benefit from taking hits. Man, if only the Widow can, like, do something about these pots over there. So, obviously, you, you don't get any money from the starting the double wave, you just get a chance for a deal with the devil. And there's probably gonna be no money in the shop. I mean, no money in the deal with the devil, I mean to say. Man, these enemies get wrecked so fast. Wow, nothing of value there, unless we get, like, enough sense in the fire, which we don't. So I guess we're gonna have to give up on Blank Card for a while. 
Is there anything else we could want? I'm probably not going to take a key because we might find a three cent key in our shop on the next floor. So we'll have another chance for blank card, I suppose. It'll probably just show up again on this floor. Hell down! Oh, that sucks. Wow. Way to patronize me, game. Okay, there, there is a card over here. And in it is to a spade. I can't be mad about that. I really can't. I'm sorry if my stunned silence gives a different interpretation to my reaction. Eh, Succubus is okay. So I guess we'll pop two of spades right now, so we can have those keys for free. Even though we had to spend a key to get one. Samson already has decent shot speed, so I think Cat o' Nine Tails is a good pickup. To buff what he already has. So yeah, we got a pretty good run from a damage standpoint. Okay, relax is not bad. There's still a potential for more money. Especially if we get Petrified Poop in one of these. You know what would be a pretty awesome item to get in the... Uh, wow, two shots in a row hit me. You know what would be a good item to get in Greed Mode? Midas Touch and the Poop. Imagine getting those two together. Can't really take a chance on Placebo. I guess we'll spend a key to get one because we might get a penny out of that. And... We'll re-roll this shit. Raw Liver? Yeah, it's not good enough even though we could leverage towards a deal with the Devil. Torn photo? I guess we can take... No, I think I'd rather take the non habit because we might get an active item at some point. I don't know when, but... If we get one, huh, look out! Our damage is probably through the roof because of all the dumb damage I've been taking earlier. Thank you for that extra cashish. I really appreciate it. Now, let us move on. Oh yeah, Bandicam is definitely working a lot better, because when I was at the Ultra Greed fight, I noticed my video file was only like 100 plus megs. And I'm like, no, it's usually around a gig by around a half hour. And then when I looked at it, I was like, oh, that's why. Well, Contract from Below does nothing for us, and so does Multi-Dimensional Baby. I don't think we take any of it. Still holding out that blank card will show up again, as well as the sun card. I get both of those at the same time, everything will be gravy. Mm. Yeah, we'll use a key right here, and I do not regret it. Still get us a nice damage buff. Oof, huh? Damage buff. And, of course, we get a little bit more money. Okay, I don't have to spend anything on those bombs, because we got Bobby Bombs. No, Bomber Boy. I was thinking Bobby Bonds. That's a homing Bonds almost. Speed down! Puberty! Puberty. Bad guess! Yes. Amnesia! Wow! Fuck my life, am I right? <laughs> well, it was speed down that I got, right? Well, I don't want to get the spoon for that. Okay, if I want anything, starter deck. And if there's anything else that I want, probably Chaos. I feel that Chaos can definitely be a make-or-break kind of item. Probably make, because it would just make your run a hell of a lot more interesting if you never get deals with the Devil or Angel ever again. Or at least those types of items. Well, I mean, you're, you're bound to get a Devil or Angel deal. That's... make no bones about it unless you choose to make it not happen. The point is, you don't always get items in them. You just might get hot garbage. And by hot garbage, I mean, oh, here's a red chest that has spiders in it, along with a couple black hearts. Or, you know, maybe two runes, or in the Deal with the Angels case, maybe like two uh, blue chests. The one has nothing, and the other will have a troll bomb forcing you to fight the angel statue. Have fun. 
Yes, mom, I'll have fun with shit. That's how every spoiled child feels around Christmas time nowadays. Uh, I didn't want that color iPhone. God, I hate you. All right, we'll take chaos. We got five items out of that. That's not bad. I can't complain that much. Uh, I guess we'll take the spoon because my speed did suffer quite a bit. Getting a starter deck right away will definitely help us avoid those pills because the pills have been trash. It's too bad we couldn't get get you know starter deck first and then open the coin purse so that we can get four cards. If I had my time back, I would have just rewound that move. But that's probably the one thing I would do differently. For now, at least. Until the next shitty move comes along. Which could be anytime soon, and that was almost one of them. That's right, get in there, Succubus. Do your work. The Succubus also, like, slow down shots that are in its aura? Cause those shots moved a little bit slower for me. Or no, that might have been. S no, that was Spider Bite's effect. Succubus is just straight damage. Probably better than Peeper's Eye. Or does Peeper Eye do more damage when it comes to contact? Succubus just has a greater AOE, and as a result, might do less damage? If it does more damage than Peeper's Eye, then it's a straight-ass upgrade, then there's no benefit to Peeper's Eye whatsoever. We'll lose the Eternal Heart, but we gotta go hard on this uh, Demon Judgment right here. At the tower? Wait, I couldn't get two plays in a row out of that? Really? The sun! Oh! Okay. Everything could be gravy right now. Ah, day guys. Well, it gives us a free soul heart. Come on. Oh, another rune. That's the Yara rune. Um, we'll go Yara Sun. Okay, well, that's actually pretty good. It's too bad that damage is not going to go towards anything, but we'll just move on. Also, we should check these pots. Or at least get that. There, we got ourselves back to full health. Fantastic. So, we just gotta hold out hope that we'll get a lot of good things happening. Maybe get another chance for black... Black card. Blank card. And, you know, this Yara rune will also have some valuable purpose. Maybe blank card is in this shop. We can only hope. There's a potential that could happen. So let's just do what we always do and just be very tedious about our activities. Book of Secrets does nothing for us, by the way. And over here is pretty good. Wow, we got like, what, six bombs out of that? That is nuts, but we, we didn't get any money. Well, that's unfortunate. But life goes on, I suppose. And we get a chance to use our bombs again. Okay, that was actually a very good payout. So now, oh, Monster Manuel, when I was an active item, that's not one I feel good about. Impurity is one I kind of do. So I guess we gotta start using Monster Manuel right away. We also have to not pick up the money. Can't believe there was actually a pit over there. I didn't even notice it. Because if we pick up the money, then we get less benefit from our Yara room. So, unfortunately, since because I got hit, we do lose the uh, aura from Purity. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. It's not a game breaker in any sense of the word. Looks like I have Demon Baby, Brother Bobby, and all of Bandages. Not exactly an all-star lineup. I mean, it's probably John Scott at the NHL all-star game kind of level. Like, it does very little 
and yet is only there out of personal spite. That's what you get when you get the fans to like stop the ballot for people that don't really belong. Oh well. Wow, did I take like two hits in a row? Okay, I'm not playing too sharp here. Need to fix that. Okay, we'll just go hard on- Oh, God! Can I use Monster Manual again? Okay, we got Robo Baby this time. Remember not to pop the sun by accident. If you pop the Yara Room by accident, not the end of the world. I would rather that not have to come to that, but if it does, it does. Get rid of this host, I suppose. Which I would have said about everyone on the view. Hey -o! Okay, come on now. Let's finish this. It may seem early, but I'm just gonna pop the Yara rune right away. Yara. Get us an immediate advantage. There we go. So far, so good. I can still pick up those pennies later. We got 67 cents. We'll take Mom's key just to get it out of the way. We'll take Guppy's tail to also get it out of the way. Celticross is just good enough to take, period. So is Cricket's head. Don't take too much. You might miss out on blank card again. Watch now. That'll probably just show up when we have no money. Because that's how it always goes. Now, let's just go to town on Monstro 2 again. Also, can't forget the fact that we're very low on health. We can't take that many hits from Ultra Greed. Or just about anyone in general. So we have to remember that. Uh, Book of Sin is good enough. I'd rather take that over Monster Manuel. I got the Magician. Ugh. Wait, were there any batteries in our um, shop that I could just pick up right now? No? Okay. Oh, well, there is one. I guess we'll pick that up, just to use Book of Sin right away, and look at that! Give us one extra cent- OH! Book of Sin AGAIN?! Oh, because it showed up in the shop and it also showed up in our deal with the devil, wow. Chaos, I'm telling ya. Uh, Cuba Meat is fine. Book of Revelations is... I don't know, maybe it's better than Book of Sin right now. We are suffering from a lot of HP loss. And I think just taking Book of Revelations will cushion us just a little bit. Two breakfasts in a row, wow. It's like this game is trying to patronize me. <laughs> okay. I guess we have to take one of them. And then we got Necronomicon, wow. That was ultimately not worth it. <laughs> okay. Magician. Just pop the Magician right now. And just go through the entire gauntlet. Like, don't even stop. Having all this damage will help carry me, as will... Wow. As will Book of Revelations. Of course, it'll take me six hits to get a full charge, provided I don't go through any wave normally, but life goes on. At least the footage is recording. I can definitely confirm that. Well, that enemy was different. Just looked all folded. Whoa, whoa. Okay, you back away now. Thank you, Succubus. Wow, that one died in like two hits. Dang, bro. You got served.
Do people still say that? I think they should. You know what would be nice? A reroll machine in our final shop. Like, I find it very infuriating that there aren't any. Because, you know, I like to hold out that we might still get blank card. Because I think that will make a great difference in making ourselves an awesome run. And if we get it, then we can scratch that achievement out of the way. Don't you want to see that happen? I certainly do. You know what? I don't care that we no longer have the magician effect here. Oh, there was like three dark ones? I could have sworn there were only two. Probably because I was only on one side of the screen. Okay, now there's only two. There. Holy crap. Okay, I'm not mad that we got Krampus. Because then we get this charged up. Good. Good, good, good. Come on, give me some more cash. More cash. No cash. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> I will accept it. Hopefully this final shop is not tr straight up trash. And by that, I mean like three breakfasts. Like, come on now. I'm not a hobbit. Just... Give me something I can use, practically. Okay. Two of hearts. Two of clubs. Pop that right away. Another magician card. Uh... Guess I'd rather two of hearts instead of the magician? Because there's still a chance we can get killed? Small chance, but still a chance regardless? Don't take Little Baggy, that's the one thing you don't want, because that totally finagled my chance last time. Oh, I forgot we still like Guppy's Tail. Okay, I don't want any of this. We'll put it right here. Thank you for all that money. Well, oh, the screw is nice. X-ray vision, don't really care for. That I don't care for either. Empty vessel's not good because I have red heart containers. Mom's knife is nice. And, uh, I'm actually going to pass on Mom's knife for a change. My shadow! Okay, we never picked up this item. That's good. We'll definitely take that. Maybe I should take Fanny Pack as well. Because, you know, in the event I do get hit, I'll not only get a Charge Wars Book of Revelations, but I'll get a random consumable. And it could be a battery. So let's just go to town on this wave. I think this is actually a decent shop. So we got one more item scratched off our to-do list, which is good. My shadow, I believe when you get hit, it just creates one of those like charging leeches and they actually help you. So they may not be so bad to have. It does have its flaws, though. So, it's not that great an item. You have to get hit in order to utilize it. But, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I see ourselves getting hit against Ultra Greed. Let's be honest. Try to get hit a little less because I passed up Mom's Knife. I feel like Mom's Knife would have been a bit of a liability in that fight against Ultra Greed. You know, those spikes can do a little bit more to help me. Did I just kill all the ragmen? Why are there more spikes? Oh god. Yep, that's what my shadow does. That's actually pretty helpful. Oh god, the, the spikes are still going! Okay, well at least this is the last wave of enemies. Okay, that was annoying. Well, at least the spikes don't just reactivate again. That would have been bullshit if that happened. I was like, well, you should have left the room and then they'd be gone. That's not the point. To be honest, I don't even know what the point is, but just forget I ever said that. It saves me a lot of effort to even have a legitimate discussion right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot we were fighting the cage. 
Well, you just made it harder on yourself by hitting me. You know that, right? Yeah, we'll just go hard on this wave, too. Oh yeah, those spike blocks are still there. They don't even do anything. They're just in the way. At least they don't hurt you. Okay, you're gone, thankfully. Oh, there you are. And you'll soon be gone. Boom. Alright, our last devil room contains a hive mind. Uh, the oddities of chaos. Two of spades. Sure, we'll pop that right now. Ugh, another magician card. Okay, this is our last chance to uh, make something happen here. Come on, blank card, blank card. And the thing broke. Guess we take the box? Two of hearts again. Two of hearts. Another two of hearts card. Even if we bought something, we won't be able to afford blank card anyway, so I guess we just gotta tap out. We'll take Golden Horseshoe because we literally have no other trinket. Wow, this has been a little bit of a disappointment. Unless we get a quarter right here. Oh, we got a secret room, too. Well, that makes us more survivable against Ultra Greed, so I guess I can't be too disappointed. I can, but what's the point? As long as we win. Which we will. I mean, we'll win resoundingly, mind you. Wow, that's actually quite a tough uh, Greedhead champion. Okay, got a nice bit of bombs, so let's make good use of them. Four spiders out of that! Wow, four corpses and three of them are loaded with spiders. Well, fuck me too, right? <sighs> Should I, like, uh, blow up these corpses myself? Well, probably blow up these. None of them had money. Fantastic. That one didn't have money either. That's a little redonkadonk, don't you think? Like, not one of them had money. Worst thing you can do is you find one that does have money and Ultra Greed just takes it from you. I don't want to blow up those corpses when he's on this side. Because he'll just sneak up on me and take them. Or, worst case scenario, he hits me and I lose that money anyway. Wow, I, I hit myself with that! What an idiot! Well, at least I get a damage buff from my own stupidity. Oh, the Chronicles of Bonga, I'm telling ya. Just when you think you've seen it all, you ain't seen shit. Please help. That's a lot of those dudes that come out of one room. That sounds like the title for like the worst porno ever. <laughs> it's like, where'd you fuck him to? In a clown car? Like Debbie does the circus? <laughs> like cock ring master. Like, I could just like do up the plot for like Debbie does the circus. And I've already a lot of clever names. Like the cock master be one of them instead of the ring master. Maybe the Cock Ring Master. Yeah, that's what I meant. Cock Ring Master. That makes a lot more sense. Like, what would you call the other bit? Like, the Trap Sleaze Artist? I don't know. The Clappies Artist. Because, you know, you got the clap. That's what happens in the porn industry when it's not well regulated. That's that's terrible, by the way. Oh, but also terrible is these scumbags with Succubus putting in some work. Like, you're the reason I got through this mess. Kinda wish there was just some rooms where I can just get hit before I fight Ultra Greed, like, you know, use bombs on myself just for the sake of the extra damage boost. 
Should have thought that through. Well, I guess I'm gonna get a hit anyway. Might as well get something out of it. It takes like four or five shots just to destroy a single key? That's fucking madness! The green head's probably dying like one or two hits. But man, the other, like the keys themselves, they take four fucking ever. That's bad enough when most of them are hearts now. Like, did he literally bring himself to like over still a third of his HP remaining now? Wow, it took that many shots to kill a key. We're still kind of screwed from some perspective. Like, we could be doing so much better. But we could be doing so much worse, too. Please, just give up. You have nothing else to live for, dude. I beat you, like, so many times. Like, dude, please help. Help me! Help you! Do I just let myself get hit on purpose just for the sake of... You know, avoiding so much pain? I don't see how I never got hit there. I'm... Let's be honest, I'm as shocked as you guys are. Like, sometimes my dodges are epic, and others are just hot garbage. And that was one of them. <laughs> so at most, I'll only be donated, what, 31 cents. That's fine. Come on, do you, is there really a point of this? Like... Oh, now you die! I think I was Succubus I got him. So yeah, we were at 675 cents when that run did not work out. Hopefully we can get to at least 700. Because that would be awesome. Okay, 700. That's good. I think we're going to end at 706? I'm content with that. So at least it didn't cap out at like one coin. That would have made me feel real bad. Alright, so we got ourselves another item knocked off our list. We got like 435 in total. And only three items have not been picked up yet. So in the next episode, we'll try to make that happen. See ya, everybody.